Hi everyone, Dean here again. On today's iPhone photography tips, we're going to have a look at portrait mode. It is, in my opinion, one of the best features that uh, Apple have put into iPhones, and that is the ability to take a photograph of your subject matter in focus, but the background out of focus. Typically, the normal photograph on an iPhone is very, very sharp. Everything from just in front of the camera all the way to the horizon is very sharp. Sometimes you do want to blur the background to create what's known as a portrait effect. It could be a person's face, perhaps your favorite pet, maybe a flower, and it'll focus the people's attention on your subject matter because the background is blurred. Now you can force that in portrait mode. Let's have a look how you do it. Along the bottom of your camera screen there are various words. There's also that one hidden in there, portrait. Now the way it works is to focus your subject matter in the middle of the photo. You can't get too close to it. Around about a half a meter I guess is about right. And then the background, which in this case you can see my guitar head here, my mate and guitar head is in focus and the screens behind are now out of focus. If you take that photograph you get a nice portrait shot of the mate and guitar head. You can actually force the background to be more or less in focus by this little button up here with the F on it and you touch that and you get a sliding scale. Now let's watch what happens. As you push it one way the background becomes even more blurred. You pull it back the other way and it comes back into focus. So you actually have really detailed and fine control on just how much you want to blur the background. Let's take a look at a portrait of a person. Here's Robbie at a festival, lots of bubbles in the background and the people, that's fully in focus. Now if you go to portrait mode, you can see the people there have now dropped out of focus, but I love the way some of the bubbles hanging just behind Robbie's head are actually still in focus. I love that photograph. And then if you push it even further as you can with the camera, now almost everything is out of focus, although interestingly some of the bubbles right near the back of his head have remained in focus. It's a really interesting effect and as I say it comes down to personal taste, just how far you want to push it. Now you can do this change of focal depth while you're taking the photograph or just as you're taking the photograph by using those controls, but you can actually do it afterwards on your computer or on your phone, but you have to have taken it in portrait mode at the time. Alright, thanks for your company, we'll see you next time.